Well, when the Ohio Athletic Conference announced that they wouldn't be having a fall football season this past fall, everyone kind of thought, all right, what are you going to do? There's no, not going to be any football this year. A lot of area athletes thinking their careers were done. But as Pat Chiesa tells us, they still have a chance to play just a few months later than normal. The John Carroll Blue Streaks aren't used to practicing this time of year. And head coach Rick finotti has been doing this for a long time, but he's never started the season under these circumstances. You know, we test three times a week COVID wise and you just keep crossing your fingers, you know, that like, hey, everybody knows this is so precious that something could be taken away from them or us. The Ohio Athletic Conference did take football away from JCU because of the pandemic for eight months. But on Friday night, eight of the conference's 10 schools, including all three local colleges, will finally kick off a six-week spring season, no matter what path they took to get there. It's definitely been a journey, uh, a different kind of journey. Baldwin Wallace head coach Jim Hilvert lost about 20 players from his fall roster who instead chose to focus on academics. But Hilvert says the Yellow Jackets who stuck around and followed strict COVID-19 protocols will learn their own lesson. The mental toughness they had to withstand, to go through the fall, not play, I know this journey is going to be, and then what they've gone through is going to show them, honestly, in, in life themselves down the road, they can be able to handle anything. In Alliance, Mount Union rookie head coach Jeff Dart has dealt with a different challenge. When you're able to respond to adversity, I think you grow. Dart took over the most dominant program in Division III history last winter. That's enough pressure to deal with before a pandemic. But the former offensive coordinator says he's leaned on his coaching staff and athletic department to help get the Raiders to the starting gate. With the people that I'm surrounded by here, we were able to work through it together. And now, actually, with it only being a week away, very excited about the opportunity to actually go play a game. Hot. Yes, they're actually going to play college football in Northeast Ohio this week. You just get a little bit overwhelmed, almost struck with emotion. After months of patience and sacrifice, everyone involved can soak in this victory. The coaching staffs, the kids in our conference, guys that are true competitors, truly love the game of football, and hopefully people recognize that this spring. Pat Chiesa, 3Sports.